What's up party people? Nika here. I am gonna go ahead and do my March empties. I know that it is already the 12th of April. Uh, I am going to IMATS tomorrow and I'm gonna be gone all weekend so I know if I don't get this done today it's already gonna be almost May and I really want to get this trash out of me house. So I got this big old bag of empty. Let's just jump right in in no specific order. Also, I just want to give you a heads up. I did a thing yesterday and as you can see, um, my self tan is kind of wonky looking on my hands, so don't mind that. First thing I want to talk about, I think I have like three candles in here. Um, I was never really into candles until about a month ago and now I just can't stop. Um, I started with the Walmart ones and I'm slowly making my way up. I started getting ones from Target and this is one of them. This is Pink Magnolia. It's a fragrance soy candle. It comes with a cute little lid. Oh, and it just smells so good. The only thing I would say about this specific scent is it doesn't have much of a throw. So like I would light it only in the bedroom and it would take forever for the room to fill up with the scent. But it's magical. I also want to try to turn all these candle canister thingies into brush holders as you can see I have a whole bunch but I'm constantly getting more brushes so I could always use some. Here's, here's that Walmart candle I was telling you guys about. This is the Mainstays Woodland Sage candle and as you can see there's still some in there. This one was just okay. Um, I wasn't crazy about it. I probably won't repurchase it again. I kind of liked it because it had like more of a like a masculine smell. But it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. This is also from Target. It's 5e Collection and it's in black bamboo. This one I actually cut all the remaining wax out and use it in my warmer. And this one smells so good. This also has a masculine scent. I really love masculine scented candles. Um, I can't describe the smells. You can't smell it. But I got through three candles. Next, I used up an Ulta Beauty nail polish remover. Now, they did change the bottles recently, thank God, because these containers sucked. They would leak all over the place. I love these removers. They're 100% pure acetone. They remove glitter polish, all other polish. These are amazing. I'm glad they changed the packaging. I'll show you what the new one looks like. Oh my God. See, they changed the packaging, and um, this one hasn't leaked so far, so I'm glad about that and as you can see I've already repurchased another one and I will continue to repurchase theirs because I want to get me next, points. You know. Next, next, we got some shaving cream. I love Skin to Mitts. It's always, it's always been my favorite. I always use it. I always repurchase it. I switch up the fragrance of it but this one is an Island Berry Breeze and it smells delicious. We got a Demert Nail Enamel Dryer. This stuff is amazing. I am really freaking pissed off because Ulta discontinued them and made their Ulta brand ones. I see what they're trying to do, but I'm really pissed off because I love this stuff. I haven't tried the Ulta brand one, uh, but I think this one is going to be better. And now I don't even know where to get it. Do you guys know where to get it besides online? Because this stuff was good. You spray your nails after you paint them and it makes... Like, it cuts the drying time in half. So good. We have Ulta Beauty soaps. I love their soaps. There's always some kind of sale going on, like where you can get them for $3 or you buy two, get two free. Uh, the Garden Rose scent, though, I liked it at first, but it got annoying really fast, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this specific scent. But if you smell the pink grapefruit one, they have a pink lemonade one, sweet apple, those are all amazing. I always have backups under my sink. I used up a entire bottle of Dickinson's original witch hazel toner. This is in my top three favorite toners of all time. It would be this one, the pixie glow tonic, and then the skin food peach sake one. This stuff is amazing. I will definitely repurchase it, but right now I have quite a few to get through. I have like a Clinique one. I have the peach sake one. I have a giant bottle of the pixie beauty one, as some of you saw in my favorites, but this is really good, and I think it also comes in a more moisturizing formula, which that one I want to try. We have foot peels. These are by Skin Food. I'm constantly trying new ones because I'm always talking about how rough I am on my feet. Um, these smelled so much like alcohol. I feel like all they did was dry out my feet and the more softer parts started peeling. 
the more calloused areas it did nothing to I would not repurchase this one um my favorite one to date is the patchology one and then the baby foot one and then the Tony Moly ones and then this one this one would be at the bottom so far but there are a few other brands I want to try I can't believe only one through one pack of wipes in March these are the Derma E Hyaluron uh, hydrating facial wipes with hyaluronic acid these are really good. I especially loved using these with my Bioderma micellar water. They would get everything off. Really enjoyed these. Would get them again. Here, if you watch my favorites, here is the little guy that got me hooked to the Psst dry shampoo. This is in Tropical. It was a little travel size. I already have two giant backups. I love the stuff and it's only like $6 a bottle. Used up the Versace Yellow Diamond Perfumed Shower Gel. I'm not crazy about the uh, like perfume version of uh, perfume version shower gels I feel like they don't last long they don't lather well this one smelled all right um, my sister-in-law gave it to me so I just used it up but I would never that's why I never buy like the gift sets because I just want the perfume unless the gift set has a roller ball then that's okay but I would not repurchase any of the shower gels again also got one of these fizz and bubble bubble bath cakes these were on clearance at my Ulta um, this is I love the bath bombs from this brand. Uh, I don't, I'm not crazy about baths. I take one maybe once a year if I'm lucky. This was cool. It did it did create a lot of bubbles. You could probably get a few uses out of it. I know that there's a bunch of them on clearance right now, so I would probably pick a few up just in case because I would even use these for like manicures and stuff when I'm soaking my hands. But yeah, and it smells amazing. Rainbow Sher Rainbow Sherbet is one of my favorite scents by Fizz and Bubble. I went through 165 count of my Shiseido Facial Cottons. These are my all-time favorites. I already got a backup go in rotation. This is like my third or fourth bag. Um, definitely love them. I know they're kind of expensive, but like everybody else says, it's definitely worth the hype. You need these in your life. Get it. Ulta has a little, I think it's like a 50 count or something, 30 count maybe. Get those, try them. They're only $5. So in actuality, this huge bag of 165 was only $10. It's worth it. I have an exfoliating glove by Earth Therapeutics. This is obviously just one of them. I have the other one in my shower. I use these when I need to exfoliate some self-tanner off or right before self-tanning. These are amazing with some soap and glotty, soap and glotty. Soap and Glory Body Scrub. I absolutely love them. They'll get swatches off too. These are really great. I have a container of the drying lotion from Maria Badescu. I definitely would repurchase this again. Whenever I feel a breakout coming on, I put these on before bed, wash it off in the morning. I think it does help a lot with the drying. Um, this one was just really old. I've had it for forever. There's like barely any left in there. You can't see because it's overexposed. There you go. But yeah. I would repurchase this. I do want to try a few other ones. The Redken Heat Cure Intense Self-Heating Treatment. Uh, Ulta Salon actually started doing these now too. Um, I bought this packet. It was at the little grab and go by the register. Uh, it was really cool because you like warm it up between your hands and it gets really hot. But it did nothing. I love my Hask ones. Um, I wonder if I have a Hask one in here. I don't think I used any this month. But these... This wasn't that good and it was like $12 for one use, so I would definitely not repurchase them. Soap and Glory Smoothie. This is not the bref breakfast scrub. Oh my god, this smells so amazing. Oh, for sure gonna get it again. It smells like, like almond and honey oatmeal, as weird as that sounds, but it was so refreshing in the shower. I love it. It's very moisturizing for what it is and I definitely love this and I will be getting it over and over and over again and I actually I think I've tried the body wash version the scent isn't as good as this but I do want to try the body butter the tightening well. cooling pack um, the egg pour one by Tony Moly the packaging is adorable I did like this mask but my main gripe with it is that you can't apply it with a brush because then it's like such a weird formula that you have to apply it with your finger and you really got to mash it in otherwise it just crumbles all over the place. I think it's a, a good job of tightening my pores but I wouldn't get it again. They have a nail file. I think that's self-explanatory. I could always use a nail file. These are actually my favorite. They're like the rectangular ones from Sally's and they're only like a dollar. Beauty secrets. Love this. 
You guys know how I feel about the Japanese makeup brush cleaner. If you don't, go watch my March favorites video. This is garbage. Would never repurchase it again. Love my cinema secrets. This is a little stamper I got off of e eBay um, for like two bucks. It's called Salon Express. If you see this one, don't ever order it. Doesn't matter how much it is. It's plastic. So this was the way I thought I was going to learn how to stamp, nail stamp. Um, this is terrible. It threw me off. I didn't ever want to try it again until recently where I got one from Ulta. We have a Miss Spa Hot Chocolate self-heating clay mask. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw the cute little video of me and Layla did this mask. It's cool for what it is. Um, it was nice while it lasted, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it again. It's just, um, I think it's something in my head about just having, it felt like melted chocolate on my face and I felt like that couldn't be good for my pores. But it, it, it was cool while it lasted, like I said. We have the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Gels. I love these. These are amazing. I keep, I kept this one in the fridge, put it on when I felt really fatigued. Love these. Love most eye gels, actually. But those are especially good. Biore Strip. My favorite no strips of all time. I have three packets of the Vita Bath body washes. These were little one-time pouches that they sent me. I wasn't crazy about any of these scents really, but I do love their body washes. They're my favorite. Especially love vanilla bourbon and I think it was um, blood orange and pomegranate. Go smell those. Those are amazing and they're so affordable. Lather up really good. Love them. We have an Double Dare Oh My God Platinum Cream Facial Mask Kit. These are good. Lots of fun. <laughs> it's a two, it's a three step actually. I really love their little kits. They're so innovative and fun. Um, the first one is like a bubble sheet mask so it detoxifies your face. Then you apply this and this will purify. And then it even comes with a little serum pad where you can remove the excess mask off your face without having to wash your face. Um, these are amazing. I would definitely pick these up. I think Ulta.com sells them now. If you want to see like a little tutorial, go see my Instagram. I had like an Insta video on this. Really good. Went true a perfume. This is Guess and it's Dare. Dare, D-A-R-E. That sounded weird the way I said that. The bottle's adorable. It's got like a little bling necklace. Um, this is an amazing fragrance. I got it for $20 at Burlington. I've been get, finding a lot of good perfumes at Burlington. I am definitely going to repurchase this one. It's amazing. Kind of sad to see it go. I've been meaning to go there and pick another one up. But the last time I stopped in, I ended up getting the one that was in my favorites, the Vince Camuto one. But yeah, once I get back from my Mets, I'll definitely purchase this one again. We have the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moore Mud Purifying Cleansing Gel. I love the mask version of this. I enjoy the cleanser. I use this with my Michael Todd Sonic. Uh, wouldn't purchase the full size or another deluxe size like this just because I have a lot of other cleansers that I like a lot more. Jeez, everything is falling. <laughs> There's so much crap on my table. The Ulta corrector. I have a lot of Ulta Beauty brand stuff this month, huh? Um, this is the Color Correcting Liquid Concealer in Pink. I actually really uh, enjoyed this. I didn't really have high hopes, but um, it was a pleasant surprise. I really enjoyed this. I love that it comes with the wand. I don't have to dip my finger into anything. Scraped the shit out of it. Took the stopper out. Would probably purchase again, but definitely during like a buy to get to because Ulta Beauty they're pretty expensive for what they are, to be honest. That's why you always got to look out for the buy one, get one 50% off or buy two, get two deals. I think I have one of these in every month's empties. This is the It's a 10 leave-in product, my all-time favorite. Amazing, smells good, detangles my hair well, love the stuff. Um, would, would purchase if I ever had to, but I always get these in like free samples. So thankfully, I didn't have to drop the big bucks on this just yet. Better Skin Concealer. This one is in light. This is like my third or fourth tube. I really, really enjoy this concealer. I might just take a break just to try a few other ones, but I definitely foresee me getting this one again in the future. Whipped Cream Primer. There's a lot of reflection going on there. This stuff was amazing, and it was like a really cool consistency. It was really like a whipped whipped cream almost. Um, 
it really blurred my pores it made a great base for my foundation I would definitely purchase this again if I seen it in a store anywhere this is by Winky Locks and it reminded me of the Tarte uh, what is it this the smoothing slate primer I don't remember what it's called but it comes in a tub and yeah that's what it reminded me of I really really like that sad to see it go I have a deluxe sample of the L'Oreal Little Cleanser. Um, it was okay, just like the Peter Thomas Roth one. I don't really like to have too much charcoal in my cleansers. I do charcoal masks, but my, my skin for the most part isn't oily, so I don't feel like I really need too many steps in my routine that include charcoal. You see these all the time in my empties posts. These are from Sally's Beauty. They're amazing for removing face masks, even the really hard to scrub off ones um, I do have the eco tools ones I want to try those out just to compare because I feel like these go really quickly like after three masks I have to throw it out because it feels and looks like crap we got an AMBA cosmetics lip scrub this one is in juicy peach one of my favorite lip scrubs got the big boy this time last year I had a smaller one Probably will get this at IMATS this year. Love this lip scrub. Wish I wish there were more lip scrubs that came in tubes, you know, like the e.l.f. one. Why do they always have to come in pots? Is it that much more difficult to make it in a tube? Is it? Please. Please come out with more stick ones, tubey ones. We have a few mascaras. We have the don't... Douce Cosmetics Punk Volumizer Mascara. At first, when I tried it the first couple of times, I wasn't crazy about it. But when it dried out just a tiny bit, this stuff was amazing. It gave me so much volume, so much length. I am going to miss this because I don't know any stores that sell this. Um, but it was really, really good. Another favorite, this you guys know is already in my top three favorites. This is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. It's got like the crooked wand. Absolutely obsessed with this mascara. Will repurchase it in the future. So good. So expensive. So good. Almost her. We have the Formula X by Sephora Cleanse XL. They don't carry this brand anymore. I know that for a fact they like clearanced out all their stuff. I don't know why their polishes are very unique colors and pretty good formula but this was just like a cleanser that you use before you paint your nails it's a glorified nail polish remover in a little nail polish bottle I will probably reuse this just because of how convenient it was you, I'm just gonna put some nail polish remover in there you dip it in with a brush you clean your nails off get all those oils off so your nail polish can last longer it was nice I probably wouldn't purchase a product like this though since I have nail polish remover in bulk we have a Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator I have a bigger deluxe size I have a few more samples of this but I would definitely consider purchasing this um, I do like the dramatically different moisturizer a little bit more but this is great for when you like going to bed and you want you don't want to use a bunch of serums I usually use this um, like twice a week and it'll be the only thing I use on top like along with my eye cream I really like it I finally used this sucker up. This is the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage Eye Cream. You guys heard my rant in my last favorites video. This was so disappointing and it's complete cocky poo poo. This product right here actually pleasantly surprised me too. We have the Clarins Eye Concentrate. This stuff was really nice. It felt very soothing on the eyes. It was rich and thick and exactly what I needed under my eyes before I went to sleep. I did notice that um, my under eyes don't crease as much when I was using this, when I would put concealer and powder over it. I really enjoyed it. I really wonder how much this is. It probably is expensive though. But I would, I would put this on a wish list. You know, good stuff. And finally, for the grand finale, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. I have beneath this out I did really like it I also use this as like an uh, at night eye cream definitely enjoyed it maybe I would try it again maybe I would buy it again um I just want to try all the eye creams in the world 
and I'm slowly getting there. Um, I haven't found any like miracle workers yet. This was a nice one, more for moisturizing than anything else, but I'm looking for one that will get rid of my dark circles, and I don't think that's ever gonna happen. But if you know of an eye cream that will help me, let me know. Oh yeah, I finished about $400 worth in March, which is pretty badass. This month, I'm not doing so good. Well, that'll conclude it, guys. Next time I'll see you will be after IMATS. I think I might do an IMATS haul um, if I get enough. Can I have a kiss? Are you going to miss me? Are you going to miss me? Are you going to miss me? Give me a kissy. Really? Smells like kibble. Give me a kissy. Give me a kissy. Bye, guys.